Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video, I will tell you how to write your first VBA code. Alright? And this code we will write to add this column. Alright? So there are say sales figures for the month of January 52, 25, 44, 87, 96 and 98. These might be for different sales people. And the total is 402. Correct? Now, this we have done using this sum formula. Now, if you were to write a code for this simple thing, then how would that be? That is what we are going to learn now. First of all, what we have to do is we have to activate the developer tab in Excel. In case it is not already activated, then in Excel 2010 and above, you have to go to File, go to options and from there go to customize ribbon and activate this developer tab all right and then click on ok and then you will see this developer tab over here and then you'll see this new ribbon for which the current two things that we would be looking at would be this visual basic and macros all right now when we go to visual basic Either by clicking over here or by pressing Alt F11, then we will be able to write a code over here. All right. So what we need to do is when we open the screen by going to Visual Basic, we will click on this workbook. All right. Do a right click, go to Insert, and we will insert a module. All right. I had already inserted a module, so it's showing one and two. Otherwise, only one module would be added. And this is where we will add our code. All right. Now, whenever you start writing code in VBA Excel, you have to start with a sub, SUB sub, and then give a name to your piece of code. Like in my case, the code's name is add numbers in a column, in column. All right. The name should be as suggestive as possible. As soon as I press enter, there are these two brackets that get added and this word end sub also get added, which is how it is supposed to be. Now, this is the name of the code. Now, we need to give a custom name to the formula, which will do the sum for us. All right. Like the name for sum doing totals in Excel is, is equal to sum, correct? So, this sum, S-U-M, this name was given to it by the engineers at the Microsoft Excel team. Now you are the engineer. So you have to give it a name. So we will think of a very, very fancy name, which will be, <laughs> which will be total. <laughs> All right. Now, why did I write dim over here? So whenever we are announcing our own variable, this formula name is a variable. So we give it, we mention dim in front of it. And then we will declare it as a long value. As in, when we say long, that it can contain a large number. All right. And now, we will say, what does this formula do? All right. So, we'll type over here, all right, that the total formula is equal to. Now, we will call upon the powers of VB Excel and type in worksheet function dot sum all right and now we will give it a range and we will open this bracket whenever you need to give a range like you see over here that it says cell 1 cell 2 that means you have to give a range and our range is column c 6 till column c c 11 so we mention in quotes C6 to C11. All right. And then we close it with two brackets. One bracket for this and one bracket for this. So one, one, two, two. Now we want the result in this cell, correct? Which is F6. All right. So then we say range. Whenever we are referring to a cell address, we have to say range, bracket open, F6. All 
right in quotes of course dot value that means the value of f6 cell would be equal to what the value of total this is the formula that we just created correct that is it my friend we are done now we just need to save this file i have already saved it you have to ensure that when you save this file it has to be saved with the extension .xlsm all right .xlsm as shown over here otherwise it will not be able to save the vba code and run it as a macro so now this is saved i can test it by clicking on this play button we will understand the value of all these things as we progress in this course i'll be creating around 50 70 videos in this series and you learn a lot along with these videos all right now if i click on plus sorry if i click on this play symbol then there will be a result that will appear over here all right which would be the total of this one which should be 402 let me do that and see 402 if i make it say uh 500 and 500 this has changed but this has not correct why because we need to run the formula every time this is updated so if i run the formula again now it is 850 correct i close it now if i delete this there is another way of running the formula which is the better way all right now you go to macros and over here you will see all the codes that you have written so over here currently only we have written one line of code which is sorry one piece of code which is add numbers in column so if you click over here and then click on run it will run in the upcoming videos i'll tell you more about visual basic and in the upcoming video we will also learn how to add two columns and two cells also all right well i hope you like this video in case you want to download this file you can go to myelesson.org and there is a specific page downloads you need to go there and from there only you can download the files and the code that i have used this code is available in the description also of this video in case you have liked it then please click on the thumbs up sign and do share it with your friends and in case you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe for all the all my videos that i create i've created more than 1300 videos and if you already subscribed, then thank you so much. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.